Welcome to SolidWorks World 2019. SolidWorks Live is here again this year, just like years past, but you can find us on many more platforms this year. We're going to be streaming live on Facebook Live, so if you haven't, like and follow us on Facebook. We're going to be on YouTube, so if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you can see every time we go live throughout the course of the week. We're also going to be available on the SolidWorks World website where we're going to be streaming live. Now I encourage you to post your questions in the comment sections on whatever platform you prefer to watch us on and we'll have somebody monitoring that and trying to engage with you uh, throughout the course of the week. Uh, we're also going to be doing many more live events throughout the course of the year so it's a great opportunity to subscribe on these channels to see all the new stuff we're going to be doing over the course of the year. Now, to get started this week, we're going to be bringing you different live events almost every other hour. There's a schedule on whatever platform you're watching us on, so if there's something you really would like to tune into, we've posted a schedule of all the people we're going to be interviewing. To get started today, I have with me John Paolo Bassi, CEO of SolidWorks. Welcome, GP. Thank you, Jeremy. Very, very happy to be here again. Yeah, we have a really exciting schedule this week. Uh, we're going to start off tomorrow morning with you right at general session, right? Yeah, absolutely. Please don't steal the thunder because a lot of new things will be announced as usual, so the excitement is mounting. The bloggers started giving some glimpse of what's coming up, but you know, we have a big ambition for SolidWorks and for this event, and I think we're going to make quite a show. Now, if I'm correct, you've said we have record attendance this year at SolidWorks World. We are going to shred records. We are still counting. Last time we were very close to 7,000 sign up. That so is like over a thousand more than we've ever had before, right? Well, way more than a thousand than what we ever had. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yep. So this is going to be really exciting. We're going to have people from all different walks of life here this yep. year. We have entrepreneurs, professional engineers, even a big contingent of students this year, correct? Yes, yes, extremely important. And the students, uh, as you know, early adoption for us is extremely important. We reached out to, to the makers community, which is new, by the way, because 10 years ago, makers did not exist. Maybe people were making things, but they didn't know they belonged to a special category, which we like a lot, which lo we love the makers because we are all makers at heart. You too, right? Yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah, so early adoption is important. Students are uh, very, very important. We, are, we have a very strong uh, um, program for, uh, for education. So educators and students will be here. They, today, all students participate uh, in engineering competitions. The first robotic is big among the schools. And, of course, the makers and entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are basically students just out of college that have big dreams. Yeah. And, uh, and the theme of uh, SolidWorks World this year is uh, from possibility to form. So uh, a dream is uh, a seed of possibility, if you will. And uh, we are very excited to have these new faces coming to SolidWorks World. Yeah, it's going to be really exciting. We're actually located in the partner pavilion in the product showcase area of SolidWorks World. So if you're at the event and joining us, come and say hello. But also, there's some great displays of what some of these students and these entrepreneurs are doing on display here. Yep. There's opportunities for people to engage and find out how they can get involved with those programs as well. Yes, absolutely. I invite everybody to visit the Partners Pavilion, everybody who is uh, uh, here these three days, because it's an amazing show in, in the show. Uh, for instance, we have doubled up the size uh, of our shop floor. So yeah. you, you will see a real... Uh, you know, CNC machines working, cutting metal, you know, spraying uh, lubricant all over the place and <laughs> fully connected uh, with uh, our new platform called IQMS. So all manufacturing operation, digitally managed, and it's really a show in the show. Not to mention all the other booths where all our partners are. There are kids coming from the MIT showing uh, what is possible with digital technologies these days. I am very, very happy with what I see. Yeah, we're going to be actually spending some time with our roaming crew over the next couple days. We're going to go to the shop floor, so that's a, that's a great uh, segment to tune into. And we're going to be looking at some of our, our great partners at this event, showing off some of their new technology they're announcing. But SolidWorks World, for those who aren't familiar, is a great opportunity where we get to show some great new technology. You, you, right? Yes, yes. And again, let's not steal the thunder. Yeah. There will be new technologies, there will be new products, and there will be uh, the announcement of a strategy 
that is going to, to, to be very, very important for our customers because uh, it's about creating uh, digital continuity in their business. It's not only about design, which of course is our passion, we are born to design, as we can see <laughs> everywhere, but all our customers uh, do more, as you know, because they need to, to sell their products, they need to be successful, to support their, pro uh, to their products, to support manufacturing, also planning. So it's about creating digital continuity and expanding design to all the streams that are necessary to make a product successful. And so we're going to be streaming all general sessions this week. What day should they tune in to hear about all these great announcements? Well, this is uh, starting uh, from Monday morning at 8 a.m. The yep. general session will be 8 a.m. Uh, for one and a half hours, Dallas time, of course. So please uh, make sure <laughs> you, you do the math. That'll be 9 Eastern, right? Exactly, exactly. And, uh, and it will be uh, one and a half hour with and a big show with some uh, music performance. I can anticipate that, yeah. We will have, of course, uh, uh, our vice chairman and uh, CEO Bernard Chalès coming and uh, helping uh, understand uh, where the Dassault system as a family is going. It's going to be very, very interesting. A lot of new things will be announced. I'm really excited uh, about all this stuff. And, it, and it's all across the board, like you said. It's, you know, we're going to be making announcements for everything from our desktop products, our 3D experience products, all, all the products across the whole portfolio are seeing great improvements of the, this year, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, the desktop itself, uh, we released uh, hundreds of uh, announcements and uh, very good initiatives like uh, full support for augmented reality, the preparation for uh, 3D printing uh, capabilities with the mesh uh, geometry capability. So we are, uh, we are very much obsessed about uh, delivering a lot of value and uh, making our uh, flagship product uh, actually to make it possible to, for it to, to stay the best in the world for the next foreseeable future. And we will explain it a lot. Now, I cannot tell it all on stage because I only have half, one hour and a half, but there are more than 200 breakout sessions where everybody can go and really understand the depth and the breadth of our investment and commitment to our customers. Yeah. So. If you've never been to a SolidWorks world or if you're planning on coming in the future, we have not only training sessions here all week going on at SolidWorks world, but we give opportunities for our customers to engage with product definition, product development, where they can get hands on and get early access to try these any new products we're coming out with, new features and existing products. And I was down in that area yesterday and it was busy. And I saw a lot of people really excited about what they saw. I know, I know. I was, I was down there myself and a lot of excitement. Yes, because they have a preview of what's, what's coming, what is not released yet. Because you know what? Our customers, uh, I think, are among uh, uh, few in this industry that have really the chance to influence, to deeply influence what we bring to them. So we want to give them early visibility so that they can tell us what is important for them, what are their priorities, so that we can focus more in the next few months until we go to the release of SolidWorks 2020, which, which will be our best ever, of course. Absolutely. So I have to ask you, how many SolidWorks Worlds has this been for you? Well, I have been uh, participating to SolidWorks World uh, in different roles, but I think this is the 15th. So it's a long, a long time, yeah. So you have, there has to be a lot of things you really enjoy and love about SolidWorks World, but what's the, the thing you look forward to the most every year when you come here? Well, uh, uh, I, like, uh, I like the parties with the, with the users, with the customers, and uh, Cat Monkey I was yesterday, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing because it is the spontaneity. We don't, we don't organize those things. This, yeah. These are spontaneous organizations and happening by our customers out of their heart, you know, started with zero budget, you know, and, uh, and they told me they started Cat Monkey in uh, 2012 with eight people, and yeah. now there were hundreds of people having fun and coming together, partying, and all around uh, this common passion for design, for 3D, and for SolidWorks. I think this is the most amazing and interesting part for me, getting uh, closer to as many customers as possible. Yeah, SolidWorks World is a phenomenal networking opportunity. I think people always think, well, it's a place where I can go to learn about products and get training, but the networking that is possible at SolidWorks World is phenomenal. Uh, you see people meeting in the hallways, having conversations and sharing ideas. And it's interesting, you bring up 
like Cad Monkey and this dinner that they've created. There's also there's the Bacon Brotherhood. Oh, yeah. There's the Coffee Click. There's the Slug Me uh, people that get together here. There's all these different pop-up events that have built themselves around SolidWorks World. It's really exciting. Yeah, absolutely. And I will uh, try to visit each and every one of them. Cat Monkey was the first one yesterday night, and uh, in the next few minutes I will see a meeting around large assembly performance, which is a very big topic. And I will, do, I will go there straightly after this interview. And, uh, and yes, that's the most important part. And you said it right. It's, it's a lot about learning, about uh, educating uh, you know, educate yourself to the latest advances in the SOLIDWORKS technology, getting certifications. But the networking is very important because here is a place also where you can do business. You can learn about the possibilities, what you can do with the partners. You can find customers. You can find a lot, a lot of possibilities. That's the most important. And, you know, with 7,000 people uh, projected to, to be on premise, I think it's a lot of opportunities and well, growing. Well, John Paolo, I really want to thank you for joining us here today. If, if you have any closing remarks for the folks watching us at home, anything you want to uh, share with the folks at home? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So thank you for watching. And uh, I say this almost every year, but we are just at the beginning. We have not seen it yet, the possibilities of what we can do, because at the end, our dream, our full dream is that 3D is a universal language, is something that we can convey experiences and emotions to a very, very wide audience, not only professional people. That's why, as Jeremy mentioned at the beginning, we have a student, we have makers, we have entrepreneurs, we have businessmen. 3D is a very profound language, it's very natural, as you can imagine. We will make it pervasive. So thank you very much for paying attention. All right, so we're going to wrap up this live stream, but as I mentioned at the beginning, stay tuned, uh, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, or pay attention to the SolidWorks World uh, website as we'll be streaming throughout the day. Our next scheduled uh, stream is going to be at two o'clock Eastern time, where I believe we're going to be coming from the Hive, where we're going to be seeing people, this is their first time at SolidWorks World, and the ambassadors, longtime SolidWorks users who are going to be who are going to be uh, who are going to be uh, welcoming them to SolidWorks World. So uh, 